welcome to Prep Talk with O. And today I just want to encourage someone. Whatever you gain outside of the will of God for your life, you will have to stay outside of the will of God to maintain it. What am I saying? If you gain money outside the will of God, you have to stay outside of the will of God to maintain it. If you gain money by doing wrong, doing people wrong, stealing, God ain't got nothing to do with it. If you gain love by lying, deceiving, you have to stay outside to maintain it. God will instruct us in the way that we should go. But he also said, don't be like the mule, which have no understanding. So we always got to keep in mind that God is righteous. There is no 50% outside living a worldly life and 50% with God. Is either you're going to go 100 or you don't go at all. You can't bring fool's gold to God and expect God to turn it into real gold. When the Bible talk about God is righteous and God is pure, that's not something we should take lightly. You can't do certain things and expect God to just look past it, look over it. No, that's why God take us through the fire so he can refine us. Seeking forgiveness for your wrongdoing imply that you quit doing what you're doing now. Go forward and don't look back. That's the point of forgiveness is to stop the wrongdoing. Get up, brush yourself off, go forward and don't look back. In order to heal a wound you have to quit touching it. We can't expect God to just put a band-aid over our problem. We can't expect God to put a band-aid over our problem. That's not how we operate. God deal with the root cause of the problem and fix it. He don't just patch you up with a band-aid and say go on your way. No, he break you down and build you up so just remember that anything you gain outside the will of God you have to stay out there to maintain it stay blessed God is king